The efforts to develop uh, the big plane started about half a century ago, actually. Two other major projects have paved the way for the plane. Roy Ruttenberg has this from Washington. For decades, China has dreamed of producing its own commercial passenger jet. But it's been a turbulent ride. First came the Y-10, a four-engine narrow-body jet. Development started in 1970 and took nearly 10 years. Its first flight caught the eyes of global industry leaders. They saw that China had taken the step, and the next and inevitable choice was to push forward with market-oriented and industrialized development. The Y-10 was too heavy. Only three were made before production was halted. But for China, the sky was still the limit. For any country and region, the independent development of airliners would be of great significance to the transformation of their economic growth mode and modernization. As forerunners, the European countries and the United States know this point well. Fast forward five years to 1985. China starts working with U.S. aerospace giant McDonnell Douglas to make the MD-82, an American jet assembled in China. Cooperation is the solution. But when Boeing Company acquires the U.S. firm, the deal is suspended. It hit us hard. Up to 80 percent of our staffers were laid off. We had gathered a group of people from the Shanghai Y-10 project, which was later halted. The MD-82 was our second endeavor. It failed again. The hard landing convinced China it must develop a jet on its own. We must stick to independent innovation and maintain a firm grip on intellectual property right. They are the lifeline for any country and region to develop its large civil aircraft industry. That determination helped recruit some of China's best talent to work on the C-919. They now say it's more than just a plane, it's the embodiment of aspiration. Getting the C-919 off the ground will be a significant step. But getting approval from the American Federal Aviation Administration to fly in U.S. skies, well, that will be crucial. Taking off in China will indeed be a cause for great celebration. But landing here will truly mark a successful flight for a journey that began nearly 50 years ago. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.